Hello, beautiful people of God. I brought to you a beautiful ray of sunshine today. <laughs> All right. How are you doing? Yes, you. How are you doing in this season? How has God been helping you? How are you coping? How are you believing? God has not forgotten about you and I. No form or resistance, troubles, trials can ever measure up to the overwhelming love and faithfulness and mercy of God. Hallelujah. I think you should shout a big amen right there. So today, I want to speak to those who are laboring laboring you are a sufferer a laborer you have been laboring for purpose for a breakthrough for life it just seems like you've just labored and labored and labored over and over again and it just feels like when is this gonna end how can someone labor so much you know the mystery about it is that when you labor over and over again in a way that is not really pioneered by God it's easy for one to get to a place where they can no longer move no longer come alive when that labor is not pioneered by the grace of God. A lot of people have labored and labored to enter God's rest and they never could. It's just been a constant cycle. You know, when there's a laboring and no intervention, no divine intervention, I'm talking about in intervention from the one who can really see to a change in our lives, then it's, it's quite sad. When you look at that man who was there for 38 years at the pool of Bethsaida, he, he was somebody that when the Lord came to him, he had been so stuck in that situation that even a ray of sunshine was so far from his imagination. And he could not give the right answer at the right time. Are you a laborer laboring in a place over something for a long time? And it just seems, when is this going to turn into rest or restoration? When is this going to be something that I can now say glory to God about? Well, look at what the Word of God says. In Matthew chapter 11 and 28. Come to me, all ye who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. An invitation from the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. He is the one saying to you and I to come. You laborer, you sufferer, you weary sufferer. You sin sick soul, you oppressed, afflicted, depressed, overwhelmed, hopeless, rejected, forgotten, forsaken, weak and faint, come. Come and I will give you rest. The rest that you have so much desired is right there in the invitation from the Lord Jesus Christ. You want rest? Then come. Come to who? Come to Jesus. Where is the location to come to? Jesus is the location. Where is the address to come to? Jesus is the address. Who is the person to come to? Jesus is the person. Come, all ye who labor, and I will give you rest. He goes on to even say, you can take my yoke upon you. And that's how we knew that even the Lord Jesus has a yoke. 
And so when we pray sometimes, I'm like, this is not of God. Why do I have this burden? Where is this yoke from? This yoke of darkness, this yoke of the enemy. Definitely is over your sled. It's not from the Lord Jesus because the Lord Jesus has a yoke. And guess what he says about that yoke? He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am very gentle and humble in heart. He is not a God or a one to burden you with life and just leave you there to die and drown in that place by yourself. There is an invitation of rest, restoration, hope, and a future in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah right there. The Lord says, do not worry. Do not worry about what you're going to eat. Do not worry about what you're going to drink. It says in Matthew 6 and 25. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? And he goes on to remind us that even the birds of the earth are covered because of him, his love, his mercy. He also reminds us that we are more valuable than them. And so, why worry? This is it. Labor. Labor. Laborers. Come to Jesus. Weary sufferers. Come to Jesus. There is hope in Jesus. No more believing the lies of the enemy. The devil is still a liar. Yes, there is still restoration available. Yes, it's not always going to be like this. Thank you, Jesus.